Something kind, weird, and wild is about to happen in this classroom at High Tech High Mesa, and these ninth grade students are filled with curiosity, caution, and uncertainty. To discover who I am and where I want to be, to meet, challenge, and face these demons running me. Meet Kind Weird Wild. That's his name. He describes himself as a visionary artist who uses his creativity for self-awareness and emotional regulation. He does art and music, but it's the power of his poetry he will use today. All you gotta do is see it in your mind and climb one step at a time and you'll find that you choose to be happy. If your life is crappy, well, you could shape a new life but you better make it snappy. It's never been something that's really stood out to me as like an art form. 15-year-old freshman Vincent Silvestro was skeptical. It's a hard turn from his love of physics to poetry, but he's open to let his head connect to his heart. But everyone has had kind of bad thoughts and self-destructive ideas in their mind. And it's really awesome to see it expressed in what looks like a positive way. This is the first in a weekly class of poetry healing curriculum. Kind Weird Wild is the invited headliner of Poets Underground, a nonprofit arts community born online during the COVID shutdown and now expanded to weekly open mic nights and a small poetry publishing company. It is owned and operated by a married couple. Sunny Ray. The Poets Underground mission is to create and foster healthy, inclusive communities through the arts. And her husband, Anthony Azarito. When I was in high school, I didn't have anybody to tell me this is how you do this with emotions. This is, you know, ABC. Both are published poets, former single parents, and survivors. Sonny grew up unhoused and in foster care. Anthony was an angry young boy looking for love and acceptance. They found each other and blended their families with five children combined. Now they're sharing their stories, talent, and healing with students. Sunny creates this way. Can I take a few breaths as I'm writing this? Because even the way poetry is written, it's within your particular blueprint, the way that you breathe breaks up lines, so you're able to kind of breathe through the moment. Anthony brings a slow light to the darkness. Keeping everybody in the silence and pretending everything's fine isn't gonna be the way how we heal. So we bring it up in these fun, interactive ways. The poetry healing class is created in partnership with lesson plans from teachers as they address their students' mental health. High Tech High Mesa is the first. Poets Underground is raising donations to take it to more schools because the experiment is working, according to 14-year-old Lily Malik Najad. I loved it. I really liked it and it shocked me because I was like, I feel like this was true poetry. It was definitely expressive. Freshman Danny Valentine says the class has already inspired her own writing. So when you're writing things that have such a burden or have such that heaviness, um, it kind of hurts to end it, or it's kind of a lie to kind of end it in a happy outcome when that's not where you're at at that moment. Turns out kind, weird, and wild works. You want to know who you are? Write something down and read it back. M.G. Perez, KPBS News. I have a philosophy, don't think, create. All right? This comes from the heart. Sometimes if we want to do our best, be disciplined, cool. Got to think. But when we're in the moment.